it, and I think it comes from I think it comes from a love of Shakespeare, but now it goes so much broader than that. I just I love everything about it, and I think I think one of the reasons that I like it is because history like that that we all know a bit of from school or telly. Um, it becomes a bit like fairy tales, we mythologise it, we all sort of share the telling of it and I think that's really nice and fun and satisfying to play with. Um, so everyone knows who Anne Boleyn is, I assume, uh, the first wife that Henry VIII beheaded, who was enormously pregnant uh, on the day of her coronation. And um, any kind of similarities to current monarchy are obviously all just in your heads. <laughs> She is paraded, bloated and waxy, street after angry street for England to spit on. They cross their hearts. She tastes their stares and sways. She has to piss, still smiling with an audience of thousands. The smell of long-held urine rising telltale into the air for the bishop to swallow. She doesn't want to move too much. The gathering dank under her armpits smells bitter, velvet, clotting. Something hot trickles down her inner thigh. It could be sweat, she thinks, or blood. She's full of water and starting to leak. The heavy crown on her head makes her womb ache. Are you the most happy, he asks her, remembering. The getting of princes, after all, is not so different from the getting of other babies. She assumes that even royalty will come out squawking. You little witch, he says later, kissing the firm flesh of her swollen belly. You enchantress, you have bewitched me. <laughs>